Molly. Why this shit on? Today, we're going to talk about gas masks. Because um, right now, America is in crisis. And we don't know what these motherfuckers are about to do to us. So, we're going to be talking about a gas mask. And uh, this is the one that I have. But first, uh, make sure you have some type of eye protection for glass or whatever. In case they blow some shit up. Or you can, or if you can find you a better one. Because this really is for swimming. But anything is better than nothing. So this is the gas mask that I have. Right here. So this is how it goes. These are the filters on the side. When it comes, that's all you have to do is put the uh, put your filters on the side. It'll tell you how to do it. And this right here will go over your go over your head. Well, you know you're gonna have no damn hat on, but anyway. Yeah, and then you uh use this to clamp around your head, around the back, and this go on top of your head. And then make sure you use your eye protection. And then um they send you extra filters also. So this is what the filters look like. Uh, like this. And then one go on each side of the uh of the uh gas mask. So and then uh I think it's cheaper to buy one than to make one. But I'm going to show y'all how to make one. First, you're going to need like a two liter a bottle. And then this used to be a bottle. But I cut it out trying to see how to make a gas mask. So what you do, you cut. It's upside down. You take your top and you put holes in it. And y'all can see the holes. That's gonna be your breather. And you make sure you squeeze put that back on. And then you're gonna cut an opening out for your face around like that. And then you can take tape and put it around the edges so it won't cut your ass all around. On just for the neck part and up there. And make it sure it's thick enough so nothing won't seep through. And then you take the, um, this right here is a, uh, uh, a mask for your face. And you take the, uh, rubber off. And I guess you can staple this around here, even though I got a tape. And take the mask for what you need to put inside the, inside your, uh, two liter bottle. So you stick that down in there. Because you're going to have to put, a. Inside, you're going to have to put a, at the bottom, you put first a mask, or you can put a a, a piece of a cheesecloth, like this. Cheesecloth, which you can get from Amazon. And then you take your, the first thing you put in is a, Inside is some activated charcoal. And then on top of the charcoal, you put some sand. And this is the sand that I got. You put your sand. And then you can put, in the same way when you're making like a, a water filter, if you want to filter water. And then up the sand, uh, maybe not in the mass, you can put the rocks, but when you do the uh your water, you put uh rocks on top of on top of your sand. When you're doing uh 
filtering water. But in here, you probably just can put the uh, activated charcoal and your sand. And then on top of that, I guess you can add another, uh, like another mask or another piece of cheesecloth and uh, to cover that. And then you put it on your face. Put it around your head. That's your homemade uh, uh, mask. Gas mask. And I, like I said, it's better than nothing at all. Unless you want to be breathing in them damn fumes. So with the uh, water filter, you're going to need like two, let's say, uh, Home Depot buckets. And then one, the one at the top, you're going to have holes at the bottom. Something like this. But these are uh, pots. You're going to have bowls at the bottom. I mean, holes at the damn bottom of your, uh, let's say, a Home Depot bucket. And then you have it sitting on top of another uh, Home Depot bucket. And there's going to be your fresh water at the bottom. And then people, you can uh, pour it from there to use it. Or some people use a, like a faucet thing to turn it and, and use it that way. But uh, yeah, that's how you filter water. You put your act. Activated chocolate. Put your uh, cheese cloth first in the bucket to fill it to your water. Then your activated charcoal. Then your sand. Make sure your sand is rinsed off. And then you put rocks on top of it. And that's how you make a homemade water filter. If you have to uh, get water out of a damn creek or something. Some damn dirty water. But uh the one in the bottom bucket, make sure it's clear before you drink it. And then you know it's filtered. And that's what we're going through right now. Some bullshit from America. And that's it. Talk to y'all later. Bye.